हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर आई एम सविता हरीज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी के ए एन एम एस कॉलेज सटाना आई एम टीचिंग यू द पेपर ऑफ माइक्रोबायल एक्सट्रीमोफाइल्स फ्रॉम एम एस सी फर्स्ट सेम फर्स्ट एंड इन दैट पेपर टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ एक्सट्रीमोफाइल विच वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रोबियल एक्सट्रीमोफाइल सो इन माइक्रोबियल एक्सट्रीमोफाइल्स द वी विल नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ एक्सट्रीमोफाइल्स एक्स्ट्रोफाइल्स आर द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट कैन सर्वाइव इन हार्श इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस एक्स्ट्रोफाइल्स इज एन ऑर्गेनिजम दैट दैट इज एबल टू लाइव इन एक्सट्रीम इन्वायरमेंट सच एज एक्सट्रीम टेम्परेचर रेडिएशन सलाइनिटी और पी एच लेवल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्टार डिग्रेड्स बैक्टीरिया आर्किया यूकेरियॉड्स एक्स्ट्रोफाइल्स इंक्लूड्स मेंबर ऑफ थ्री डोमिन्स डोमिन्स ऑफ लाइफ that is bacteria archaea and eukaryotes most eukaryotes are microorganisms and high proportion of these are archaea but this group also includes eukaryotes such as protists that is a uh, algae fungi and protozoa and multi organisms so, sorry and multicellular organisms then most eukaryotes are may be divided into two broad categories extremophilic organisms which requires one or more extreme conditions in order to grow and extreme tolerant organisms which can thrive which can tolerate extreme value of one or more physiochemical parameters to growing optimally at normal condition then we will study about microbial forms of extremophiles in various habitats there are many classes of extremophiles that ranges all around the globe each corresponding to the way its environmental niche differs from mesophilic condition many extremophiles falls under multiple categories and are classified as poly extremophiles for example organisms living inside hot rock hot rocks deep under earth surface and thermophilic and physiophilic such as thermococcus barophilus a polyextremophile living at the summit of mountains in the antakama desert might be radio resistant xerophiles a psychrophile and a and an oligotrophs polyextremophiles are also known for their ability to tolerate both high and low ph levels in microbial extremophiles there are many classes for example acidophiles acidophiles or acidophilic organisms are those that thrive under highly acidic conditions usually at ph 5 or below these organisms can found in different branches of life tree tree of life including archaea bacteria or also eukaryotes an acidic environment is one that has a ph below 6 acidophiles are able to live and thrive to a highly acidic environment particularly at ph 2 or below acidophiles are uh, considered as an uh, extremophiles then second one is alkaliphiles alkaliphiles are a class of extremophilic microorganisms capable of survival in alkaline ph roughly 8.5 to 11 the environment growing optimally around a ph of 10 example of alkaliphiles include halorhodospira holochloris then these bacteria can be further categorized as obligate alkaliphile those that requires high ph to survive then facultative alkaliphiles that is those able to survive in high ph but also grow under normal conditions and haloalkaliphiles those are those those that requires high salt content to survive then third one is thermophile thermophiles is an organism a type of uh, extremophile that thrives at relatively high temperature between 41 to 120 degree celsius many thermophiles are uh, archaea through some of them are bacteria and fungi thermophilic eu ba- bacteria are suggested to have been among the earliest bacteria thermophiles are found in various geothermic thermally heated regions of earth such as 
hot springs like those in yellowstone nation parks and deep sea hydrothermal vents uh, as well as a uh, decaying plant matter such as a uh, peat bo bogs and compost <clears throat> some examples of thermophilus uh, includes bacteria like thermos aquaticus which is which was discovered in hot spring and archaea like pyrococcus furiosus then next is psychrophiles psychrophiles or a uh, uh, cryophiles are uh, <clears throat> extremophilic organisms that are capable of growth and reproduction in low temperature ranging from minus 20 degree celsius to 20 degree celsius they are found in place are permanently cold such as the polar regions and the deep sea psychrophilic bacteria includes gram negative genera such as uh, pseudomonas moraxella psychrobacter flavobacterium polaromonas or many of them gram propositive genera such as arthrobacter bacillus morococcus species and microalgae such as chlamydos monals next is halophiles halophiles is an extremophile that thrives in a high salt concentration in a chemical term halophiles refers to a lewis acidic species that has some ability to ability to extract halides from other chemical species a halophiles is an organism that live in an environment that has a high salinity such as ocean and solid salt crystals then next is physiophiles that is also called as barophiles a barophiles is an organism that survive in a high pressure environment that is uh, barophiles are a type of extremophiles an example of high pressure habitat is a deep sea environment such as ocean floors and deep lakes where the pressure can exceed then another is a surf, sub subsurface rocks with high lithostatic pressure example of barophile is a halomonas salaria and moritella colvelia there are examples then next point is xerophile xerophile is an ex extremophilic organism that can grow and reproduce in condition with the low ability of water also known as water activity then water activity is measured as a humidity above the substance relatively to the humidity above the pure water xerophiles are uh, mainly found in xeric condition uh, this xeric condition may mostly observed in deserts like sahara deserts um, then xerophiles include bacteria yeast fungi lichens algae xerophiles are uh, zero tolerant meaning tolerant of dry condition mostly in desert deserts there are xeric condition that is a dry condition so there are uh, few uh, bacteria yeast fungi lichens algae are observed then next type is oligophile oligophiles are a type of uh, are a group of bacteria that can grow in extremely low con concentration of nutrients they grow slowly and efficiently scavenges resource resources they form small and microscopic colonies an example of an oligo oligotrophic bacterium is colobacter crescentus it is a gram negative bacterium widely distributed in a fresh water lakes and streams then next topics we will uh, study in next lecture so goodbye